Now, back to more of Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater and your host, Lisa Condit. Welcome back once again, and here I am with Laurie Carr, our social media manager. Laurie has an extremely fun job here at the theater, don't you, Laurie? I do. You do. You could do all the glamorous things like, just this week, weren't you with some furry friends? I was. I, I was able to go to the Ecotarium on Thursday, and I was there for two special story time readings with Elmo and Cookie Monster, and it was the, we, we played Elmo Says with the the attendees oh. and then there was a showing at the planetarium exhibit afterwards so how fun yeah it was a lot of fun and everybody if you have young theater lovers we have two more performances of sesame street live today one is at one o'clock and the other one is at four thirty. so check out our website at the if you're interested in tickets but also Lari has been very busy working with gosh how many different businesses in worcester county over 35 or more than that, really. I'm I'm thinking of the ent- of the raffle drawings that we did, but I would say over 50 different businesses throughout Worcester County because it's all about Jersey Boys. They're coming, taking over Worcester, taking over the theater for two full weeks, our first two week run. So it's really exciting, and we were able to come up with all these different promotions with different businesses in the area because everyone's so excited to have the show in town. See, that is a totally fun part of our job, and it gets everybody really excited. Like, oh my gosh, remember when the coasters came into the office that we're going to have at Nuovo Restaurant? Yes. Everybody in the office is like, oh, I want them. The recipe for Jersey Teenies. What is it? Yeah. So look for those at Nuovo. We're going to have them out in a couple other restaurants in Worcester, so keep your eyes open for them. And Nuovo, we just have to give them a big shout out and a lot of appreciation because want to tell everybody about some of the things they're doing with us? Sure. Nuovo Restaurant is doing a Jersey Boys ta- restaurant takeover. And so that's going to be for the duration of the Jersey Boys performances from January 21st through February 2nd. And they're going to be having appetizers. They have Jersey themed cocktails. If you show your Jersey Boys ticket anytime between January 21st through February 2nd, you'll receive 10% off your food bill. That's awesome. You'll also receive a complimentary signature Nuovo appetizer. And you can select from any of the Jersey teenies that they have there. Oh, and I love the food at Nuovo. It's really delicious. And you can definitely find healthy options on the menu if that's what you're looking for. But there's plenty of cheese and olive oil to go around. So if you're not looking at saving the calories, you don't have to. But if you want to. Right. Right. Loretta does a really great job over there. She does. And they're right on Shrewsbury Street. So they have parking in the back. They have valet parking. And there is some street parking. So right. And it's just scared. a short, what, less than five-minute drive if you don't hit all the traffic lights? That's right. And you know, I was actually meeting with the new general manager over at the Beachwood with you earlier this week, too. And very exciting. I know that he's going to have transportation available. So if people are looking at one of the Woo restaurants as far as where you can get something to eat before the show, after the show, look, take another look at Series Bistro because they have a great menu. There are great deals there. The food is delicious. And now they are going to be offering transportation. That's right. And transportation is key because you don't have to worry about parking, paying for parking, even though it is extremely low price at just $10. But it's good to just wine and dine and then have someone else drive you there and pick you up. You can avoid the traffic and the crowds. Sounds like a good date night to me. So what else is going on as far as all Jersey all the time? We also worked with Coco Benny Confections, which is another Woo venue, and they're located in Northborough. And so what they what they did last over the last week was they had a Jersey Boys themed cupcake. And so when you had purchased six or more, you are eligible to, for an enter to win two tickets to the show opening night, which is coming up this Tuesday. And they, I believe they still have the Jersey cupcakes there. So if you're looking to satisfy your Jersey cravings before the show comes, I would definitely check them out. They have amazing cupcakes. They and, do. And I, I believe that they're... Cake pops were featured in the Emmy Awards. Oh, I'm in, sure. In the goodie bag, she won. Really? Yeah, she entered a contest, and they chose her cake pops. So she, you know, she's she's great, and her food is wonderful. And I I just love her cupcakes. I can't say enough about them. Yum. So go there and have some Jersey Boys themed cupcakes. You can also check out. 
Well, Bernardi's is doing some fun things. They are. They are doing an enter to win at both their Auburn and Worcester locations. So we had many different opportunities for people to enter to win different contests at both Woo venues as well as some of our business partners that we work with. Everyone from Woo Berry and Button Tree Kids and Knitscape to Tower Hill. Oh, and and the Grafton Inn, I think, was another one. So far flung, too. All over Worcester County. So many chances for you to win two tickets to opening night. You know what I love about this show and what we get to do in our department is we've worked with over 16, 1700 actual businesses, cultural venues, partners throughout Worcester County. Our street team people, they've gone out, they've been working with these great business owners at salons, restaurants, services. So it's really a great way for everybody to come together. And truthfully, this is the biggest show that's come to the Hanover Theater since we opened. And for a two week run, it's a big deal. Everybody is totally excited about it. What about Button Tree Kids Shop? What is Button Tree? Button Tree Kids Shop is a consignment shop. It's a clothing consignment shop for kids. I've heard great things about it. It's really cool. And they're located on Pleasant Street, just right down. Oh, right in Worcester. Yep. Ah. And they're a woo venue. Ah. So you can go there, swipe your card, enter to win, and come to the show at the theater. You know what? The Woo Car program has really taken off with over 70, 70 different venues now. And we're really excited. We're working with... Obviously, the Hanover Theater, the Echoterium, and the Worcester Art Museum, where all of our members, between now and I'd say the end of each of our fiscal years, we're giving our members free woo cards for renewing or joining. That's a big that's a big deal. It normally would cost $20. It never expires, but it gives you access. And it opens doors at over 70 different cultural mm-hmm. venues. So really great deal. Check out woocard.org if you have any questions whatsoever and for everybody listening Laurie also does a really great job managing our our social media obviously and Facebook especially what are some of the things that people can find on our Facebook page we do a lot of behind the scenes things on Facebook because that's what everyone likes they like to have that kind of backstage tour that little snippet of insider information that you usually wouldn't have so we've got a lot of interviews on there we've post photos from different events that we attend anything really that has to do with what's going on at the theater and it's a great way to stay in touch we also advertise different contests and promotions that we're doing so it's your ticket to some of the best shows that we have coming up at the theater as well as different last minute opportunities a lot of times right we don't you know we are very careful we only send emails out to the people on our email list once a week and that really is for the new show announcements or if there's a big special or uh any type of big breaking news. We save it up for once a week. But like you said, more often than that, we have things going on all the time, whether it's because, you know, our friends over at City Welding have volunteered to fix the cranes Mm -hmm. or because there's a whole nother incentive that a partner has come to us. I know that Sir Coplis, we're working with the 1540 connection. So we have breaking news all the time. And Laurie is a lucky person who lets people know because Facebook, how many times a day do we usually post? Just once a day on Facebook, but we post multiple times a day on Twitter. Yeah. Because I think that's where a lot of the conversation is happening is on Twitter. So um, between the two of them, you can find out all your information there. It's like if you, if you follow that, you're almost an employee with all the insider information because we really – that's where we push out all of our communications because like you said, the emails once a week, a lot happens within that week. And so th- we use those two channels as a way to get that info out to everyone. So some of the things you'll even find on there now would be the schedule for the big special, Oh, What a Night, the story of the Jersey Boys that's airing on Charter TV 3 right now, right? Yes, and we will update as as they – as they're coming up, it's throughout January, so we'll be posting just to remind everyone to check it out on Charter TV 3. I know, that's going to be really great. And as we're coming up with these new promotions and last minute deals, because a lot of times we'll find that we have access to a special promotion that is very short for the amount of time that we can offer it and it doesn't necessarily fit into that Tuesday range so how can people make sure that they know what's going on a they can obviously sign up for our online newsletter and that really is the best way to find out information about the shows that are going on sale because we always put them on sale well at least 95% of the time to our members before the public Mm -hmm. that's always in that weekly email 
what else can they do? They can like us on Facebook. What's the difference, just for people listening, between visiting our Facebook page and liking us on Facebook? What's the content that you're going to see that's different if you like us? If you like us, that means that you've opted into following our content. So as you sign on to Facebook and say we were to post something in the last hour, it will show up on your news feed. So you're getting that constant stream of information through your news feed. Whereas if you just go and look at it once, yeah, you might see what's coming up, but it's not not that constant buzz just being thrown not thrown at you but you're you're not going to get that information immediately unless you think oh I need to go check and look at it so it's good to like like our Facebook page and follow us for more information well thank you so much Laurie and everybody check us out on our website thehanovertheater.org Facebook Twitter, Instagram. We're out there. So social media is king and queen and Laurie's doing a great job. Want to thank you all for listening. I want to thank WCRN for giving us this opportunity and we hope to see you all at the theater. Thanks for listening to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater with your host, Lisa Condit. Make sure to join us again next Sunday morning here on AM 830 WCRN.